Hello guys, in this video we are going to take a look at this USB camera module from the ALP company. This camera is 8 megapixels and it has a very focal lens for us to be able to zoom into the areas that we want. And this is going to be very suitable for monitoring our 3D prints online. So these are the things that came out from our box and this is our camera. Our USB camera module came with a 2.8 to 12 mm and 1.4 very focal lens attached on it. So this is the camera itself. Let's take a look at more closely. By turning this section of our camera, we can zoom in and out. And by turning this section, we can change the brightness of our view. With this one, we focus on our object. This camera is, as you can see, this camera is 8 megapixel and it is powered by 5 volts with our ESP. And we have a very nice long cable in here to attach to our camera. Okay, we have our socket right in here. You just pull it to detach and push it to connect. Very nice, very easy. And we have our cover as you can see like this. In here I have Creality CR10 with me and I'm going to show you how to attach this camera into your 3D printer. To attach our camera into our 3D printer I have designed this two piece frame. So what I'm going to do is basically connect these two together and put this GoPro screw in and fasten these two together. I already attached my nut in here and what I'm going to do is insert my screw from this section. But before that I'm going to attach my camera into my frame. So I attach that in here and I'm going to attach my button frame like this and then I'm going to insert my camera from the side of my heated bed. So this is one way of attaching our camera. Second attachment option is to use your big binder clip and put your frame like this and attach it as you can see. Right now let's look at how to connect this camera into our computer and receiving our first shots. After we connect our camera into our USB port what we need to do is to open our software to get the views from our camera. I'm using Mac so I'm going to show it in iOS system but it is very straightforward in Windows and at the end of the video I will touch base to that too. So first of all go to your QuickTime and when you have your QuickTime player click file and click new movie recording. When you do that there's a drop down menu in here. What you need to do is to click USB 2.0 camera. We have our view from the camera, but we need to arrange it accordingly. So what I'm going to do right now is to zoom in and out and change focusing. We can also darken it or make it too bright. I'm going to change it according to my desire. Uh, this one is good. So let's take a look at when we zoom out from the view. We can zoom out like this and see the view and we can zoom in. And we can zoom in and change our focus too. As you can see, we are very close to our extruder and we will be able to follow the print very nicely. This is how close that we can be to the extruder and this is how far away that we can be from our extruder. As you can see, this is a very nice camera for monitoring our prints. With the very focal lens, we can zoom in and out and change our focus according to our desire. And we can connect this camera into our computer very easily and start recording our videos, time lapse and monitor it online. The good thing is about this camera, it has very focal lens attached to it. We can zoom in and out and arrange our focus by our desire. It has metal cover around it and when you touch it, it feels very high quality. Its socket connection is very easy. Since it's a USB camera, it is plug and play. With my computer, there wasn't any need for installing a software and I believe it's going to be same for the Windows. Even if you need, softwares are available in their website and this camera is not heavy at all and it has, as I said, 8 megapixel resolution with it which makes it very nice candidate for monitoring our 3d prints you can see all the links related with this camera in the description below and you can download this 3d printed frame for this camera in the description below from my thingiverse account okay guys this is the end of video part one about how to monitor your 3d prints in the part two i'm going to show you how to stream these videos that we capture with this camera online so that you will be able to check the situation of your prints online with your phone over youtube or twitch don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the part two of how to monitor your prints and if you like it please click the like button